Welcome to Warblog. This is a development video for two things. I <laughs> got up this morning and thought, oh, I'll just have a little tinker. And um, it's been pretty chaotic, really. Um, fairly, fairly heavy going, but I've done it. So basically, two things. Firstly, when you finish moving, your units now will be able to turn it. The Tamil Tiger. So, for example, this this guy's got three movement. So I move there. That's fine. And I move there, and my turn's over. So you can see he's changed colour. Now that's sort of that's magical. Um, the only thing to say about that, there's lots of ways I can do that. The, the mechanics of doing it is done. What that is is, if you know anything about styles, HTML, it's it's a, it's a style. So I can go and change that style whenever I want. Um, it's irrelevant, but there's lots of different things. Um, without wanting to bore anyone too much, um, things like grayscale. I mean, I've got a lot on that really. I've got grayscale, opacity, saturate, sepia. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Hue rotate is a good one because it just makes the colours slightly different. This is a slight green. Well, the problem I had is that initially some of the counters would just sort of look like ISIS counters, which I sort of think of ISIS counters. But any counter that sort of looks black like that, if you got if you're up against them, suddenly it will look black like that. So I'm not sure how to sort of get away with that. But the thing is, it's simple to do. The point is, when you now the thing is, for example, this guy he's, he's actually got three movement, but going through agriculture is 1.1, so he's not going to. He won't be. He can't move any further because he's not at 1.1. But he's still got some movement, so he's not going to be flagged up. Generally speaking, it, it's it. I, well, I think it will generally work because I mean he, he can't move anymore because he, he can't afford to move into these things. But he he, he still has some movement. He can't do anything. There's literally nothing. He's artillery. I couldn't use him now as artillery. He's all moved up. So that's that. The other thing here is that now what I can do is move things off the board. So, I've been sort of trying to do this for years. Um, so, there's this new button there. And if I want to move him, I suppose I want to move him off the board. You'll see that nothing happens. Uh, but if I want to move him off the board, because it's on the board edge, I put him into there, and then I get the choice. Don't worry about it, I just haven't tidied it up yet, really. So, I can move two of these units move them from the board, there you go, they've gone, so there's now only two units left in there, so I can move him there, and him there, so I can move him there, he's, if he's still got some movement, he can move off the board, so I'd have to do that, I was going to put an alert in, so I know you're sure, but the thing is, it's such a difficult thing to get to, you can't do it accidentally, that I don't think it's that important, and so, you, you know, that that's that really, I mean, it's, Two things, but you, you, you know, let me just let me just check. Yeah, you mean you can't add, you can't move people off the board that are not on the board edge. So, for example, these guys are on the board edge, so we could try and get them off. Now, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's not much more to it than that, really. Um, I had to sort of calculate manually where all the board edges were for the variant games. But that's not really that difficult. Um, they're in sort of large arrays. The, the only thing is, if I've missed a few out, because it's quite complex, quite a lot of numbers, quite large arrays, um, it could be that you find that if you're on this hex, on this map size, it doesn't work because I've mistyped that hex number. But you know, that, that's sort of something else, really. Um, so basically, that should give us a lot more flexibility. I mean, for example, I've no idea whether or not I've still got this game in play. I think this one... Well, we've got some units on the edge of the board there. Now, they would be moving off, so it's a Syrian Arab on the turn. But, now, it's the same size map, so it should be okay, at the very least. But we'll move in there and do the ISIS turn. Now, they've got to the edge of the board, and that was the whole part point the objective, we can then move there, there's two units, and, and bingo, and, and I think that it will make a lot more difference 
it, it'll make a lot more difference. Mm, I'm not sure whether that's it. Proper, 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 <laughs> proper English. I think it'll make a. It'd be quite, it, I think it'd be quite significant in certain situations, and there are a few others where. Um, I th where, where, where else did I do this recently? Um, I think it's this one. I think it's the first one. So I did them twice, didn't I? In this one again, we've got them sort of sort of going off the board. Um, so, for example, we might want to move them into now. This is a smaller app, so it's a good one for me to practice on, really. Um, yep. Let's see if we move them off because we we sort of game we will even stack them up there uh, because we don't want to sort of bother them going any further because we can get off the edge of the board. Now you can get off the edge of the board. It, it doesn't really make a huge difference, but it, it makes a difference from the point of view of how you understand how you're playing and how you want to play. Because quite often you get stuck on the edge of the board and you're going to receive the casualties. And you can say, "Well, okay, I'm going to move off." But it's just a, it's just a small difference that I've been meaning to put in for a while. And um, maybe one other thing to just sort of look at or for. I don't know whether or not any of these... Yeah, you can see some greyed out units. So obviously these units have, have recently moved. And you can sort of see the the way the colours change, etc, etc. Et um, this is an earlier game. Just looking for... I don't think actually, yeah, we've got some movement units that have um, moved. This unit has moved as well. Okay, so what we've got here, this is interesting. Um, um, as I said, the, the style sheets are a bit, a bit odd. This is a South African um, unit, and, and so is, what, what's this? I'll have to figure this one out because um, he's got zero movement. How can they both have zero movement? Uh, I think I know what that is. Not to worry, but that's a, a, a gaming thing for me. I mean, basically, he only updates his movement at the beginning of his turn. So he, because he was at zero movement on his previous turn, and it's now the South African turn, He's still got a zero movement, so I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to sort that out. I, I can do that now, actually. But anyway, there's the two new game developments. Um, thought I'd mention them. They're half the press, so they're probably not quite right, but um, I get excited by that. So um, that's that, and I'll uh, speak to you later. Cheerio.